Hello, hello, everybody. I know I am way too early. I'm going to play a little intro to start us off so I can update you with my very newest news. Hey guys, um, thank you for being here. I wasn't supposed to go live for like another two hours. Um, my plans kind of got derailed today. I had an amazing day. I met up with the Ramblers and did recorded two tours that I'm going to put out later. And then they took me out for a late lunch at Silly Al's Pizza Place. Just amazing people. And then I... I headed towards Lake Havasu to catch up with everybody else, and I'm stuck in Parker, Arizona. <laughs> so I, it's already too late for any mechanics to come and take a look, but yeah, I'm kind of screwed. And I have a really bad feeling that it could be my transmission. We were just joking about transmission problems earlier, which really is a kick in the pants. Let me go back and say hello to everybody. So Ava was in here earlier. Hello, Tim. Thank you for being here. Dream on Wheels, Diane, Marianne, you guys are awesome. Hello, Michelle and Lynn. Um, Lynn, I might have problems getting back into Canada. I got to find out what's going on with that, but I got two months yet. So that is the least of my concerns right now. Hey, Brie, how's it going? Hey, Matt. Gracie's here. RV Living Life. Hello from Texas. Hey, Marshall. Yeah, Tim, I am stuck here. Hey, V. Um, Amy, hello, hello. So, yeah, I I noticed driving today that the ambulance is hesitating when it's supposed to shift. I mean, it's an automatic, but I've driven manuals before, and I know when they're supposed to shift, and I know the ambo enough to know when it's supposed to shift, and it's been hesitating a lot. And so when it's supposed to shift and it's not, I ease off just a tiny bit on the pedal and it'll shift and then I continue on to the next so I stopped in Parker I got just past the casino and had to stop at the light there went to accelerate and my gauge for my, my rpms was bouncing all over the place and it was kind of lurching and then hesitating and it lurched a little bit and then no power it would not let me get past first gear um, I shifted it into second and that seems to be a little bit better, but I don't think I can drive around in second gear everywhere. Um, so I was parked on the side of the highway, <clears throat> checked all my fluids. Everything seems fine, but there is a leak underneath on the passenger side. And I reached over and felt it. I think it might be transmission fluid. It's not oil. So I stuck in a post office parking lot. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to haul my ass out of here, but... I really can't go anywhere right now. Hey, Nate. Who else did I just miss? Yeah. Hello, Peter. Yeah, so I am sitting at a Circle K in Parker. And I'm not going to lie. This is probably my least favorite spot to be parked at. Because there has already been people driving through this lot, like kind of checking the ambo out as they're driving by. So yeah, that really, really doesn't feel very good right now, especially when I know I really can't go anywhere. I clicked the ambo out of overdrive completely. I don't know what to do. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Dale. Good to see you guys. 
so yeah, I'm going to probably have to turn my phone service back on and call badge. I put the code reader on and read it and I don't even understand what it means. Basically it's saying that there's no data on my powertrain and something else. I don't know. I don't even know if it's picking up on here. Dan, can I creep to a better spot? I probably could, but I don't even know where to go. That's the thing. Um, one of the lots I was in originally said no overnighting, no vendors. I headed my way towards a shop that was supposed to have still been open for like another 15 minutes and it's closed until further notice. Isn't that my luck? <laughs> I did check the transmission fluid. It still looks fine, but the engine is still hot, but I'm pretty sure that's transmission fluid that is leaking underneath the passenger side. I'm pretty dang sure because other than oil, what else is going to be leaking? It's not water. It's not oil. And it is closer to the passenger side than my oil pan is. So I'm really not sure what that means. Hey, DJ. Yeah, I'm early. I'm stuck. So I'm early. Hello, Steve. Desert Adventures in Arizona. Hello, Nomadic Ramblers. You guys, it was so great to spend the day with you. And we talked about, oh, the community and everything else. And if someone has a problem, well, I have a problem. <laughs> stuck in Parker. I just have a really bad feeling it's going to be my transmission. Yeah. And so just a quick look up. The average is 2400 US. I have no idea. I'm just hoping someone can recommend a good place for me to check out in the morning. I mean, it's not like I'm in any kind of rush. I'll check the fluid levels in the morning and see how far I can get. I don't know. Let me just catch up with you guys. Hello, Cookie. Do you need to come get me for the night? I don't feel actually good about leaving the ambulance here. Like, I don't feel good leaving it alone. I don't know. There's a sheriff. I should go flag him down. I see him on the corner. Maybe someone will report me parked here and I can chat with them. Actually, when I met Sherry, um, she has an ambulance as well. She gave me a screenshot of a card of a mobile mechanic. But I don't know what the recommendations are, you guys. So I waited out and see what's open here and if anyone can help me I don't want to push it I don't want to push it at all I'm lucky that I'm in a community that I wasn't so far out of town that I couldn't turn around and limp back and yeah I couldn't get shift out of first so but when I manually put it into second it was okay it doesn't mean I'm gonna drive it though yeah Sandra I do feel like I just have this in my gut that it's gonna be the flipping transmission I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Lynn, somebody needs to go help her. Yeah. No, I'm okay. Uh, who's Sandra's truck did the same thing? Yeah. Go talk to him live to Badge. Yeah. Badge, where are you? Uh, Ramblers call you after I'm live. Could. Yeah, Tim, it could be the solenoid too. I saw that when I was looking stuff up. Um, there's a couple different things that it can be because, I mean, it's a very, very slow leak right now and the fluid is still doing well. Um, the code that it was giving me, Marshall, it wasn't actually, didn't give me a number. Like it, uh, dang, I took a screenshot of it. It's not gonna probably show me now. Oh, I guess I can put, oh, I can plug it in right now and show you guys. Let's do that. Let me find it. All right, plugging in, find where I put my keys. So organized. Hi, Alan. All right. Turn the key on and see what it's got to tell me. Okay, I'll shut the door. Okay, so I don't, here, I'll just move this. Let's see. You guys can see. Can you see that? So basically, it has an M. I don't know if that means anything in a CC. And then it says no powertrain, DTCs, or freeze frame data is presently stored in the vehicle's computer. So does that mean it's not reading a problem or my vehicle's too old for a problem? Well, not too old for a problem. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, shit. Oh, it's hot in here, too. It's hot today. Oh, let me turn my key off, too. 
Ah, Tracy says no one sold your catalytic converter, did they? Or would or or did it have one? I don't even know what that is. I do know that they're copper. Oh, you couldn't see it, Gracie. Okay. Oh, press okay. I already took it out. Uh, I'll just do this live. I'm letting everything cool down. I'll go check everything again. Um, and it wasn't, it's not like when the fuel filters were plugged. There's it's not blowing any smoke or anything like that. So I know it's got to do something with the transmission. That's all I know. Take off my hoodie. It is freaking hot in here. Very hot. Okay, so you can take it to an auto zone and then plugging up. Yeah, tell me if it's a problem transmission. I just need to know where to go. Where's the best recommended place? Uh, oh, hi, Gina. I'm in Parker. I am on 15th Street and California Avenue, so it's a busy road. I passed it on my way through to Lake Havasu, which I never seem to make it to today. I don't know. It just sucks. Just what sucks is it's going to cost money. But flip side, nothing happened when I was in the cold. Everything's fixable somehow. And Gina sending them out, sending Steve and Fritz out. I don't know if there's anything they could do, really. I mean, they could come and, and be with me when I talk to a mechanic tomorrow. But... Or they can maybe recommendation make a recommendation for who to see. The one place I went to that was supposed to be, you know, be open is permanently closed. So I don't know. Gina, can I use this phone of yours to call Badge? I just realized, Gina, that um, uh, they've been, they've called me a couple times, but the phone's been on um, mute, so I haven't heard it when they've tried to call. I don't know if that'll cost if I call them or not, or if I can pay you for that. And I'm still losing my voice every day, you guys, when I talk too much, just from the dry air. I'm um, sorry, you guys. What color is the fluid that's leaking? It's pretty clear, but it's not water. It is oil. Oh, I gotta write that down, Marshall. Thank you. Which place is that? Kofa Avenue. I don't think I'm far from it, but nothing's open. So what's new with you guys? Miss me? I miss you. Kind of. <laughs> no, I do. Well, at least I have service for a live stream. Can you guys all see and hear me? All right. I'm going to write that address 1120. Marshall, um, do you know what the, what the name of that place is you gave me? This is going to be a busy little spot because everybody leaves Circle K, goes zipping through this parking lot. Oh, well. Okay, let me catch up with comments, guys. Thank you guys for being here. Right, and we did have an absolutely fantastic today, day today. For anyone who doesn't know, the Nomadic Ramblers took me out to eat. I did a tour of their rig. They did a uh, video with me and a tour of mine. And I did another tour of a bus on a friend of theirs. Um, wait. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, that's AutoZone. That's a parts store. What color is, you know, I can just go show you guys. Can I reverse this camera? RV in a fix. Is that local, Kathleen? 509, is that the area code for Parker? Or what is that? Uh, can I turn the camera around on here when I'm with you guys on my phone? I don't know if I can. No, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. Oh, I really don't want to be stuck right here. Oh, well. I can in the settings. Okay, under more maybe. I have settings. 
camera. Well, that's just, now I can't see the chat. Hang on. Oh wait, front camera, back camera. Okay. Let me just go back, take that off. Okay, I will show you guys underneath. Yes, this is where I am. There's a circle K that everybody came zipping by. Okay, so when I go underneath, it doesn't look like much now. It is leaking. Okay, there's just, you can see some here. There was more on the highway. I don't know what that is. Hang on. That's really hard to reach. It's pretty clear and greasy. But it's coming just on the passenger side of the oil pan. So somewhere up in there. I can't see there myself. Yep. Can you see him at the post office? <laughs> uh, Uncle Boozy, yeah, I'm still bum docking in Arizona. Except, is it bum docking when you can't get going anywhere? Yeah. I'll go back to settings and switch this around again. Uh, okay, camera. Sorry, guys, it takes me so long to do this. There. I'm back. Let me see. Okay, that is in Parker Cat. Dorothy Mobile Repair. I don't know if they're going to, if it's going to cost extra to call tonight, I'll just wait till the morning. Oh, yeah, call them. If nothing else, they can recommend someone. That's a good idea. If the transmission oil is overheated, it'll leak out of the overflow vent hole. Except, how would I know if the transmission fluid is leaking? Because none of my gauges are off. All of my gauges are good. And it wouldn't shift. So there's still a problem, right? The leak is still connected to where the problem is. I don't know. Um, radiator fluid? I don't know, Steve. I have no idea. Let's see, bum docking just when you're staying outside of an RV park. Oh. Yeah, Auntie, I can't text Badge because he doesn't have an iPhone, but I'm gonna I'll call him. Yeah, right, there's no gauge for it, so how would I even know? But the thing is, all I drove was, before this really happened, um, it went really bad, all I drove was from Quartzsite to uh, just outside of Parker. And I mean, I could get turned around and limp back in the town. So that's good. And I couldn't check coolant or anything like that because it's too hot yet. But I don't know. It really doesn't matter what I check. There's a problem and I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, it is hot today, but I still didn't go for Auntie, I know I'm gonna just call, I'm gonna turn the service back on my phone and call him after. Yeah, I really hope that it's an easy fix too. I mean, if it's something small, I'd be thankful that it happened when it did and where it did and that I'm okay and that it didn't cause an accident or anything, but I don't know. I don't know just sucks because I really wanted to be in Lake Havasu today oh well really doesn't matter do not move wait for it to cool down yeah you know what I'm not gonna move at all hey Sharon hey finding happiness and all you do I uh it's not worth moving right now I will talk to someone and then I'll wait till I can find a garage it's open tomorrow and hope that uh I can get it dealt with What's today, Wednesday? Hopefully I won't have to wait. Hopefully I won't have to wait. Oh well. 
Yeah, I know. Don't be moving it and totally wreck the engine, right? So when I started it again and I left the spot that I had to pull over at to come back into Parker, I was only maybe a mile past the casino. I had to go really slow. And uh, yeah, anytime I tried to go up faster, it just lost power. You just felt when it wanted to shift, it just dropped back and kind of went nowhere and did nothing. <laughs> Let me see. Mike says it will... Hang on. It will still drive. It doesn't shift. It's probably a modulator valve. And if you drove it for a distance, that's probably transmission fluid coming from an overflow. You know what? That actually sounds, Mike, like um, it sounds a lot like how the situation went. Now, if there was a problem with that, mo if it's a modular valve, would, would I have had slower shifting in an automatic transmission? Would that have made sense? Would that have been an indicator that maybe something was starting to go wrong? Hi, Shirley. Yeah, I know, proper vehicle maintenance. And I mean, Babs checked over everything, changed all the fluids, oils, everything. So, I mean, this is just one of those things that happens. Hey, Ron. Yeah, no, I won't move. I won't move. Uh, thank you, Sharon. Got to keep that epic spirit. I mean, if I didn't, honestly, guys, if I didn't take the chance of coming out on this trip, there are so many things in these first five weeks that I would have missed. And having a breakdown now, I guess, is worth it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade this breakdown for having not gone on the trip. The trip was definitely worth it. Sorry, you guys. It's cheap to drain and refill a transmission fluid. Yeah, that's true. The only thing, Tim, is what caused the problem. And how much is that modular that Mike was talking about? Mike, how much would something like that be? At least talking to you guys, I feel a little bit better. Like, I don't know. I know what some things are to look for. I I know because of the slipping of the shifting and the leak is something to do is something connected to the transmission. At least I get that. And at least I know the worst case prices. So yeah, figure it out, figure it out. Let me see. Do you guys have any questions about what I've been doing? I'm not even sure how much I've updated you guys on, but at least I know during this live stream, no one's shaking the ambulance because <laughs> they're all in Lake Havasu. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sandra. You guys are awesome. Oh, let's all pray, pray, pray that Mike is on the money with this one. And it's like under a hundred bucks. Once the transmission's burned, I'll not do his job. Well, the transmission fluid is a fairly clear. I know it starts red, but it's like, um, it's not dark by any means. You know, the redness fades on the transmission fluid. And I mean, it was new transmission fluid before I started on my trip. So hello, Brady, Lucas oil tranny slip works great. Yes, Debbie, at least the weather is good. Yeah. So you guys, you're right. I'm going to sit tight, behave. Um, just hope for the best. Hey, Alberta and Stella. Yeah, it definitely is warmer. It got pretty warm today, actually. But it's one of those days you wish you had air conditioning that worked, although that is not a necessity. You just don't drive into the sun when it's hot. That's the only thing. I feel, I feel like I need to be in a different spot, though. But I'm not going anywhere. I'll wait till morning. Well... I guess this is going to be a very short live stream, current and up to date, live from a parking lot at the post office in Parker. <laughs> hey, Anne. Hi, Dyson's Crazy Adventure. Um, yeah, so I won't be going live later. I mean, at least I had service here. <laughs> what is this? Unless your friend can do it. Hi, Jill. Labor isn't cheap, but they can do it in under an hour. Get a phone that isn't an iPhone? I have an iPhone. I can message my son. I can message all sorts of people, but just Wi-Fi cat with an iPhone. 
Yeah, just laugh. Just laugh. What's a cutie in Parker? What's a cutie mean, Amy? I know that's gotta be, you know, like it's very safe gas station, but I don't know. I just gotta sit. Son of a gun. The diesel is cheaper in Parker than Quartzite. <laughs> already filled up in Quartzite. Oh, quick trip. Oh, I don't know if I've paid attention to know what that one is. Every gas station here is different to me. Everything here is different to me. It's been awesome, though. It's been great. Even every different place that you boondock, the ground's just a little bit different. Like, the rocks are different. Like, tons of quartz by Ehrenberg. Not so much in the other places. I've been to so many meetups, it's been awesome. I've met a lot of really amazing people. Memories to last a lifetime. And I'm well, I'm healthy, so it's all good, right? Let me catch up. Okay. Call the local at police. Oop, that jumped. Yeah, I, Mike, I do know how to check my transmission fluid, and I checked it when it was hot when I was on the side of the road, and it was low, and it wasn't discolored. Yes, Jill, I definitely am getting a tan on. Mm, let me just see. So Kat says, call the local police, tell them where you're at, and that you can't move the ambo, ask for advice. Oh, that is a really good idea. That's a great idea. As long as, I, well, what do I do if someone tries to kick me out? I can't go anywhere. But it's not leaking as fast as when uh, I was on the side of the highway. I'm going to go pop it right now and I can probably show you guys. Oops, let's not cover. <laughs> let's not. Oh, that is hot. See me now. All right. Oh, wait, that's my engine oil. See, you guys, I'm all nervous checking everything in front of you, and I'm being an idiot. I do need to get an oil change, though, but that's an afterthought. And I haven't had to worry about replacing the fuel filters yet. There's been no smoke coming out. Jesus, that's a long dipstick. Okay, transmission fluid. No, it's still red. Probably can't see that. But it, it's still red. And when I touch it with my fingers, it looks pretty clear and feels exactly like what I picked up off the ground. So I know it's transmission fluid leak. But my fluid is not down. So I'm hoping it's one of those other things that you guys were talking about that they can just replace and that it was just coming up the overflow. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Let me catch up. Do I have a U.S. phone? Yeah, I have uh, Gina Brachowski's. Um, I didn't know if this phone service, but it's what I'm using for hot spot. Auntie, I look tired. I am tired today. I spend too much time talking in a day and my voice wants to go away again. I am not going to Florida, Dale. Are you kidding me? Hey, how are you? If Travis can help you, text me. They're out in Lake Havasu, you guys, and he has to work. And, uh... I mean, I, I have to get a mechanic regardless. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Hello, old car junkie. Good to see you. Right, Jill? Ridiculously long dipsticks. Um, to catch up. Does it smell burnt? No, Ron, it doesn't. Nothing smells any different than normal, so that's good. Um, yeah, so 
I've determined transmission fluid leak. Losing power when I'm trying to shift out of first gear. I pretty much know what to explain. Let's just hope it's that valve or that uh, thing that Mike was talking about. Hey, Mark, I'm just sitting, spending the night in the parking lot in Parker because I can't go anywhere. Hey, RV Ashes in April. Good to see you guys. And you know what's a real kicker? I really regret this. Okay, you guys. So you'll see in the chat, there's Mark Wolf. Super nice guy. Very thoughtful person. Bought me pepper spray because I travel alone to keep myself safe. Dumbass that I am, thought to myself, well, I'm not actually traveling by myself. I'm caravanning with people all the time. So when I met my friend Sherry, who also has an ambulance and is traveling alone, I gave her the pepper spray. Because I'm like, you're going to need it more than I would ever need it. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Bobby says it could be an oil leak because there's a couple spots where you parked. Right? Key. Okay. Sharon, I noticed when I got uh, into the amble right after we left the restaurant, it looked like there was stuff under my side. My oil, well, it's still cooling down. I'll check the oil again because I know it'll it look artificially inflated when it's hot. But there's a leak on the passenger side that is transmission fluid. So I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm going to wait and call one tomorrow. Hey, Lillian. Fords are known for a modulator valve failure. You know what, Mike? For some reason, everything you're saying, not just because I would like it to happen, but it sounds like it makes sense to someone that really doesn't know much, but you know, I mean, with all the troubleshooting and stuff, it could be something simple and I'm not pushing it. I'm not driving around. I, I didn't try to keep going to, to Lake Havasu to not be alone. I knew I was very blessed that I was still close to town and I limped my way back in and parked. I'm just gonna keep it safe. I do have CAA if for some reason I need to get towed from this spot. I don't know, that's like your AAA. Ah, oh, thank you, Tim. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch with you if I'm stuck. I mean, really, I just, I don't, I don't know if anybody coming out would really help, right? Unless they know how to fix that kind of stuff in a girl, in a parking lot. You have knives. <laughs> you know what? I'm just not going to open the damn door. I'm going to make sure everything is locked and yeah, but I have some videos to edit. <laughs> Maybe I can get one of them uploaded for you guys today too. Yeah, I should try to get hold of them. Get a 38. That I can't have a gun. I don't have a permit to carry a gun yet. Mark, you have my number. I can get you to speak to safe. I appreciate that, Mark. It's on point driving all the way out here. I think you're out in Lake Abbasu with the rest now too, right? Um, okay. No matter ground, there's when the ambulance cools up, check the water in your radiator. Yeah, I know I can't do that right now for sure. And I actually had a problem, was it last spring? No, it was the spring before that. I went on a road trip with my mom and I had a oil coolant hose leak and it drained on my fluids. And so I had to like, but that showed up, that shows running hot, right? So I had to limp along and keep adding water until I got to where I needed to be. I don't know. Uh, call now that I can schedule for tomorrow, but no one's open. Oh, like the mobile mechanic? The fluids are still warm, Ron. I know. But it is transmission fluid leaking, I can guarantee you. Oh, Tim? Tim, if you want to come and you want to fix this, I am on the corner of 15th Street in California Avenue. <laughs> I will wait. I will wait for you. I might even make you some Velveeta cheese noodles at the microwave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another thing that has been worked out since I've been on this trip, 
I noticed that I was having problems once I got into the US with my solar maintaining my house batteries. And I, when I drove it, charging with the alternator wasn't keeping the back batteries charged full either. So I realized there's gotta be a problem with one of my batteries. So Wade with Vanquished took and checked each of my batteries. And we did learn that one of them went kaput. So now that that one's been disconnected, I have tons, oodles of power, oodles of power. So that's good. Like I can run, sorry, you guys, I've got to close the hood. I can run my microwave and I can make coffee and it's all good. There we go. There we go. And I don't know if you guys remember, I had problems with one of my door locks. So badge switched them out. So this one in the back, nobody can get in there. The lock's not even in it. The only way that door will open is me from the inside out. And then I want to make sure like this one is locked because you can access that. And what else do I have to make sure is locked? I think the one to my closet, I better make, oh, I just stepped on my sunglasses. Um, the one to my clothes closet. Oh, it is locked. Okay, good. So all you gotta do is lock the front, lock myself in the back. I might go get myself a Slurpee. I haven't had a Slurpee in a really long time. Can't if someone came out, you wouldn't be alone, I know. I just don't like being a pain in the butt and I don't like asking for help. I know that I can just be patient. Jules, you can throw, Jules, you're so stinking cute. You can throw a pan of hot water at somebody if you need to. Oh, Tim says, if a sand can touch it, consider it done. Yeah, I'll be safe. But if anyone wants to come visit, then we'll all probably get kicked out together. <laughs> Bye, Tracy. Thanks for being here. Hello, Hope Bus, Trucker Daddy. Good to see you. Yeah, it's an hour from Lake Havasu. You know, and I should have been there before it got dark. But whatever. Whatever. I'll just get in the back and lock it up so not so many people see a woman sitting in the front seat by herself right now. Although, as some people have warned me, I have my logos on the ambulance, which anybody can go look up and know, yeah, that I'm traveling alone. They also don't know that I could beat them. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm being ridiculous. I'm going to take that frying pan and whack them upside the head. Darn right. That's a great idea. Watch, it'll be someone that I know, and I'll be like, <laughs> smacking them. Hey, Billy, good to see you. Michael, I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, I call a mobile mechanic, yeah. Yep, I am very blessed that I'm stranded in the middle of a highway. Um, yeah. Thank you, Kat. Hey guys. Hey Shevna. People offer, let them help. I know. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Why should I inconvenience people when I have been having the time of my life? Ah, uh, something wrong with the transmission, Billy. Hey, Ray. Jail says we could jump in the car and get to Paula tonight. There's nothing anybody can do tonight. Thank you, though, you guys. If anybody knows how to fix it and wants to come out, you can email me at vanvitatravels at gmail.com. And if I hear from someone that knows um, how to do this and will be in the Parker area, then I will wait before I call a mechanic in the morning. But I will be wrapping up this live stream soon, locking myself in the back. I'm gonna maybe edit some videos. Um, yeah, I have a book that I can finish I was reading yesterday. Uh, I need a wet chicken for a weapon. What the hell is a wet chicken, Teddy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are absolutely ridiculous. People walking by looking at me talking to my dash. 
And today my biggest concern was I need to replace the windshield. You guys have no idea how many cracks I have in the windshield right now. I don't even care. Uh, every, okay, you guys are talking about towing service. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit tight. Auntie, you're funny. Wonder if that gas, gas station had more pepper spray? Turkey. Ah, oh, Mark, thank you. Ah, oh, you guys, Mark is gonna drive from Lake Havasu to come sit here with me so that I'm not by myself. That is so awesome. Thank you, Mark. That's what real men do, right? I'm just catching up. Yeah, it is. Um, and I double checked, Steve. With the transmission fluid, I, I checked it. Level's still fine, although it's still a little warm, but it's the same color and consistency of what I'm picking up under the ground, and it's leaking farther to the passenger side um, around where the oil pan is, but more to the passenger side than that. And it's not shifting right in first. Yeah, I am lucky I have my house on my back. That's right. I, I am hoping it is a modulator valve. At the same time, you know, you guys have given me a lot of great information to deal with it. Nothing I can do right now till tomorrow. I know black is oil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to laugh. There's a lot that I don't know, but there's, there's so many things in the world I don't know, but I know that oil is black. <laughs> It's not oil. It's not the oil. Mm. Hey, our tiny acres. Hello, hello. Tom, hi. You're standing in the corner of Winslow, Arizona. Uh, are you quoting the lyrics of a song? Yeah, I'm getting a tan. I'm getting a tan. I was yesterday, I was laying in the back of the ambulance with the doors open, hanging out while I was reading my book. So I was ridiculously comfortable and getting some color. Crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Van Life Voyages, thank you so much. Is, is that showing up? And Jiu Jitsu 2000, thank you, you guys. Um, I see it popping up at the top. I haven't got to it on the bottom. That Steve doesn't know anything about transmissions. Oh, you guys are sending food with them too? You make me cry. Shush. One of the best things about a really situation is that I have made some of the most amazing friends. Like people here in this community go out of their way to take care of each other, you know? Even when you don't need help, feeding each other, you know, driving each other around, taking you to get your laundry done, all sorts of stuff. Oh, Billy, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, you guys are all saying Mark's a great guy. He really, really is. He is absolutely a blessing. Oh, here's where that one is. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, dark spots oil red is transmission. Yeah, it's transmission. Oh, and there's the other one. Thank you so much, you guys. And what's the next one that just came up? Oh, Christina, thank you. Tom, thank you. Oh, take it easy. It's not a song about a wet chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had no tears with the fact that I have engine problem. But I do, and I talk about how full my heart is with everybody that I've met on this trip. It's really hard to wrap a person's head around how kind everyone is. Thank you again, Strong's Adventures. Thank you so much, Christina. Oh, thank you. I do feel safe on this trip. Everybody's been so incredibly good to me. What is this? Well, Paula was either send food with Mark or Yanai was coming to have a pajama party. <laughs> she could still come too. <laughs> She and I get ourselves in trouble. No, we don't get in trouble. But she is definitely a sister. Definitely. 
And there's that one. Yeah, the song is Take It Easy, not a song about a wet chicken. <laughs> oh, you, guys. you guys are so funny. What time am I at? We're going to raid Van Life Rocks. Um, is, is he live yet? Put paper towel on the ground and I'll give you a better idea of the color and smell of the fluid, the sinking cake. Dale, I will do that. The leak has slowed since I've been part. Um, but so it could be that overflow thing that you guys were talking about. Thanks, Gina. Thanks, Bree. Hey, Angela. Hey, Destroyer 1320. Good to see you. Oh, Paul, how's it going? Yeah, I made it across the border. I'm in Arizona. I will stay safe, you guys. I will. No, 520. Okay, which time zone are you guys in? Oh, so 20 minutes after. So I got a few more minutes. Thanks for the hugs, you guys. Thank you, Amy. 18 more minutes. So Bree did drop the link. Let me see if I can pin that from here. Oh, I can star it on my phone. I don't know if that put it to the top of the chat or not. But we will definitely go raid Van Life Rocks. Oh, thank you, Ray, for Vita Fund. I really appreciate you. You guys are really awesome. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Too bad you're back in the cold. The least I can do right now is brag, brag, brag that I'm where it's warm, even though I'm not driving anywhere. <laughs> you know, that's true, too. That is very true as well. I'm just hoping it's a simple fix. But if there's a leak of the transmission, is that what's causing the shifting problem? right? The hesitating and shifting that I was feeling today and then not shifting at all and powering right out. I, when I put it into second or third or whatever the hell this is, it drove a bit, but I didn't want to go fast. Yeah, Freedom Dove, I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, Van Life Voyages, thank you for the Van Vita fund as well. So weird looking at this song. I say it every time. Doing this on the phone is so different for me. Uh, I got too many things going on my screen right now. Yeah, transmission fluid is reddish in color. Thank you guys. I uh, I really appreciate all your advice and your help and your support. You guys are amazing. Like there's so many people in this chat that I have been blessed to get to meet since I've been here, and they are all. Honestly, they're all even more amazing than you think they are on live streams because they let loose more when you meet them in person and you really get to see their sense of humor and their passion about things and you see a lot of their heart. We have the most amazing community. And even if I could never drive the ambulance again after today, I don't regret coming here at all. It's the best trip I have ever had in my life so i'm gonna focus on that and i'm gonna do what i gotta do to get it going and i'm gonna keep on trucking keep on living keep on pushing past fear um for those who don't know i did a second attempt at palm canyon and i did finally get it thanks to nate and you and i um because i was at one point sitting there going maybe i just have to learn to be okay with failure <laughs> and i was not gonna let that happen thank god so, yeah, I'm just going to hang in there. I can do this. I'm not hurt. No one's dead. I'm not injured. So it's, it's all going to be just fine. But the nice thing is that I had you guys to talk this all through with. <laughs> so I actually believe it. Hey, Ron's Mini RV Life. Good to see you. Oh, I also hit 2.4, um, 2,400 subscribers today. So... That's just another hundred mark. <laughs> so that's good. Um, uh, Box and D's done a tour of this. Nomadic Ramblers have done a tour and tiny home tours. So those will all be out within the next couple of months and stuff. So I think that's really going to help, um, help promote the channel and our community a bit more. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I love you too, Sandra. Thank you. Why can't I seal this very well? You know, you're right. To have Mark with me, whether he knows anything about it or not, the fact that he's a man, I know it doesn't sound right, but it does make a difference. It really does. 
Okay, what does it say? Paula, there's an air hose that goes from the top of the engine down to the modular valve. If it broke loose, then you get the same results as you're having. Okay, Mike, I'm feeling better and better the more you talk to me. Keep talking, Mike, keep talking. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm just trying to get, oh, you guys dropped my PayPal link. Thank you guys. It's, I'm okay. I have credit. <laughs> I still haven't got everything worked out with my stupid bank for cash, but everything's been going on my credit card. And I do have, they actually bumped up my limit before I left. Hey, Bobby, good to see you, sister. Yeah, I hugged a palm. People are like, did you kiss it? I'm like, ew, no. <laughs> Hugging it was enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, Karen, just pray for it not to be something serious, right? And I mean, if something's going to happen, this is the best case scenario. Definitely the best case. You're thinking Badge might need a quick vacation. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I know. If he was anywhere near here, he wouldn't hesitate to be here and come to my rescue. I can always count on that. Sounds like the vacuum line has come off the modulator valve. That would sound even cheaper, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not going to be too big. So Paul says, when you look back on this trip in years to come, it'll be one of the best remembered trips you've ever had. It already is. It already is. I have gone to so many meetups. I've experienced so many very different things like drum circles and howling at the moon and different places to eat, walking on the London Bridge. I mean, meeting everyone. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to catch up scrolling. Thank you, Lillian. Ellen, you thought you saw a hose hanging out on the right side? Honestly, I couldn't see underneath there to see what you saw. Let's just hope you're right. And now I don't have to worry tonight because Mark's going to come out here and sit with me. Thank, thank goodness for Mark. Uh, hey, Linda. Sorry, you guys. We're going to be done pretty quick here. Um, hey, Shanna. Oh, dessert therapy. Is that desert or dessert? That looks like dessert. I'm, I'm going to go into this Circle K convenience gas station, and I'm going to find the crappiest, most sugar-laden thing I can find to eat. And I'm not even hungry because Nomad Ramblers took me out to eat. It's a piece of rubber hose about three inches long. Sometimes it's hard to cry. Okay. Um. <sighs> Wait. Yeah, Steve, that's so funny. You hope whoever calls under there doesn't get stuck. Oh, if anybody does come to help, <laughs> you're going to need a jack if you need to get under there without getting stuck because Steve when he was doing the wiring for the compost toilet kind of got stuck underneath there. There's a picture of him on my Instagram stuck under the ambulance. Um, so a couple of us had to stand on the other side of the ambulance just to shift it that half an inch that he needed to get out. Oh my gosh. You're just crazy. Oh my gosh. Celtic nomad. You're hilarious. Oh, thank you, Stephen Oki. You guys are awesome. I appreciate that. Mark doesn't have a channel. Um, he's good friends with D. Well, he's friends with all of our community now, too, since we've all met him. But, no, he's just a really great person. Has a van. What is this? This is just a blurb on the road to test your commitment to push forward. This will be a small fix. Kathy, I think you're right. I do. I think you're right. It's going to be good. It'll be fine. I'm not stranded. I am healthy and happy. And I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to see if they have some frozen ice cream. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had ice cream. Yep, yep. So we're going to go leave. We're going to go raid Van My Frocks. Let them know that Van Vita sent you. Um, 
much love to each and every one of you and just thanks for all your support thanks for being there help me problem solve um yeah tim says get a minivan you think i can fit my ass in a minivan seriously seriously there is no way i would handle a minivan just saying hey cast love thanks so much for coming in yeah you'll have to catch the replay but i am well everything will be fine so much love everyone and hopefully i will see you again soon it'll be another pop-up bye <laughs>